go. <laughs> Out, you have to push. You want me to push it? And that bam boom, how are ya? <laughs> this old thing's still playing. Hey, Jules. Yo, buddy. Hello, mate. How you keep it? Great. <laughs> Why don't you come in? <laughs> There's more money to be made out here. Yeah. Oh, no. He is dead. Hey, hey Desi! Hey. Not him. See you later. Here, yeah, buddy, you go with Phil. I'll be in in a minute. Buddy, boy. You're still living with your dad, then. How are you, all right? Hey, <laughs> Do you like it? Yeah. You look great. No business. How yeah. oh, are you? You've lost some weight, haven't you? Well, well a bit maybe, yeah. Got to stand your own cooking. <laughs> You're still working for that bookie? Well, it's a job. There are better jobs, Terry. You only have to give me a ring, you know that. <laughs> oh, no peace for the wicked, eh? Yeah? No what? What they want? Yeah, well, no, no, you shouldn't have told me. You got trouble? Yeah. Cop has been around my house. She told him I was here. Do pick their moments, don't they? Hey, eh? yeah. you got your motor here? Yeah, over there. Do us a favour, will you? I've got a bag in the back. I'll go and any copper nosing around and finding it by chance. Nice. Better be safe than sorry, eh? Yeah. You know me, Des. Anything to help a mate. Yeah. Good boy. Hey, ah. No, no, that's all right. Come on. Go no, on. No. I haven't seen you for a while. Catch you later on. Yeah. You promised you'd never work with him again. Well, I'm not. Buddy! Buddy! Now listen, I'm just doing him a favour. He's my oldest friend. He's a bloody thief! Look, I swear. I swear on my life. I've stopped all that. It's stolen! How do you know? Even if it is, I didn't steal it. What's the money for, then? You know, Des, he's like that. You'll go back to prison! Now, buddy! Look, I promise. I've stopped all that. It's all in the past. Come, let's fight. Let's go and have a laugh. Well, I made it, as promised. You look great. I must be mad letting you talk me into this. Really. You've told Dad I'm coming, haven't you? Uh, no. No. It's a surprise. Carol! Lost your party, Fox, then? Yes. Oh, dear. I don't think I can go through with this. Things have changed, buddy. Dad's changed. Has he? He's got a job. How long's that gonna last? A few weeks? Then he'll bump into Des King or one of the others. I've seen it all before. I'm only asking you to talk. You haven't seen him for six months. Come on, is that too much to ask? No. Come on.
something wrong. No, why? I just wondered why you were here. No. No, everything's fine. Surprise. You look great. Your hair's different. Everything's different. That's great, though. Thanks. You look the same as ever. Well, you know me. I'll never change. Buddy was looking at some old photos the other night and... Uh, just a minute. See, so he set this thing up. <laughs> you little <laughs> schemer. Well, he thinks we ought to talk. <laughs> so it wasn't your idea, then? No, but he's right. We ought to talk. I never wanted to stop. I wasn't talking, was it, what we were doing? No, I suppose not. Don't fancy a screaming match, then. OK. A truce. OK, a truce. Are we allowed a drink? Yeah, I'd love one. You certainly are to embarrass a boy, don't you? <laughs> there you go. Dad, can I have the car keys? What for? I've dropped some money down the seat. Cheers. Right then. Same as usual. Gin and I'm a drink. Look after her. Give me the keys. Why? I'm just gonna move the car. It's all right, you needn't bother. I'll put that bag back in the jag. You did what? I put that bag back in the jag. That's the first place they'll look. Well, it's not your problem, is it? Jesus, my prints are all over that bag. With my record. For after all. Looks like it's your lucky day, doesn't it? That's nothing to do with me. Come on, Des, you're not going to let our friend here take the rap for this all by himself, are you? Well? You're a fool. All right. Off we go. Hello, buddy. Keep it nice and clean for him, eh? That's what I like to see. I've come to see your mum. Buddy. Mum. 
Oh. Carol? What do you want? I want to talk to you. In private. You say it in front of him, I don't bother. Well, what can I say, eh? Things went wrong. Terry's bad luck. Could have been anyone. Not you, though, Edes. Somehow you're never the type that gets caught, are you? Look, he got caught. Would you want us both to go down for it? Anyway, whatever you think, I owe it to Terry to look after you. All right? We don't want your blood and money. Carol? We don't. All right. Any time you want anything, you just... You'll be the last to know, don't worry. Buddy. I'm going to death house. for dad. Didn't think you were interested in that sort of stuff. No, not usually. It's for dad, though, isn't it? Think he'd be pleased? I think he'd be more pleased if you went to see him. I can't. Not after what I did. I mean it, buddy. You should see his face when I turn up without you. He thinks you're ashamed of him. No, it's okay. I'm trying to get the level right between the voice and the guitar. Had a letter from Dad. Yeah, what'd he say? Wants us to sell the car. Why? I don't want it hanging around getting rusty. But I polish it every week. How can it get rusty? He loves that car. Well, he must love us more then. Come on, use your head. He's trying to help us. What do I say? We don't want your money. She's a real beauty. Lovely. How can your dad bear to part with her? Well, well, he's uh, away a lot at the moment. Mum, I want to come with you on the next visit. Yeah. 
Dad, I'm sorry I didn't. No sorries. No sorries about anything, okay? Good. Is school all right? It's okay. It's good. Your mum all right? Yeah, she's fine. Goes out a bit, does she? Yeah, sometimes. Buddy, if... If she ever started seeing someone else, you'd tell me, wouldn't you? Well, she wouldn't. You get a lot of time to think about it in here. She wouldn't. I hope not. Some of the blokes won't drink this stuff. Why? They reckon it's spiked with tranquilizers. <laughs> Takes the lead out of your pencil. It's not as it. I don't know. Never done me any harm. Ah! You could kill yourself on one of them things. I don't know why you bother. She's into wheels. You'll be into wheelchairs if you're not careful. Look, man, there's no two ways about it. I'm in love. It's that simple. <laughs> Took you to wake me. Took you to make me. You make me feel. You make me feel so alive. You could sing that to her, couldn't you? What is it? Of course, to a song I'm writing. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> it's good. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, are you writing it for some girl? I bet it's for Kelly. No, it's not for <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> Look, you can't fool me. Tell you what, play it again. Play it again? Yeah, it's good. You sure? All right, OK. You ready? Took you to wake me. Took you to make Last night. Oh, yes. Well, we finished that big project yesterday, so Adrian took me out for a meal to, to thank me for the work I'd done, I suppose. Oh, and guess what? Just giving me a rise. For passing my exams. That's good, isn't it? Mm. We have to have that at breakfast. I hope all this rock and roll isn't going to get in the way of your schoolwork. No, but the sex and drugs will, though. Buddy, I'll make a pact with you. I'll understand how important your music is to you if you understand what my work means to me, OK? Well, I hope you're not going to go on about your exams tomorrow. What do you mean, go on? Oh, I know what you mean. Don't hurt Dad's pride, that's it, isn't it? Tiptoe round the master, make him feel he's the only one that counts. Well, I've worked hard for those exams. I know exams. you have. Well, then. But it doesn't mean you have to go on about them. I don't believe this. I suppose we've got to be keep quiet about your exams as well, then, have we? Listen, you should be proud of your schoolwork, not try and hide it. I'm not trying to hide it. It's just... What? Well, it must be really hard for him in that... Oh, of course it's hard. Whose fault's that? It's my fault! It's not! It's his! You are not to blame! He got himself into this mess, and he is the one that's got to pay, not us! And do you understand? Don't ever hit me again, Mum. I'm sorry, buddy. I didn't mean it. I won't say anything to Molly. Don't worry. I've started again, with a way of killing yourself, as any. So, how's your school then? Well, how's he doing? Fine. What's that supposed to mean? 
You're in the right mood, you are, aren't you? It means he's doing fine. He's doing really well, actually. He's passed all his exams. He's too damn scared to tell you because you're so busy feeling sorry for yourself. And incidentally, I passed all my computer exams. Thank you for asking. I why two geniuses like you bother to visit a dummy like me. forever. <laughs> Evening. Hey, look, there's Kelly and Diane. Yo, Kelly. <laughs> yeah, I know, it's classic. <laughs> Good evening, young ladies. All right. And uh, what have you got planned tonight? Oh, we're waiting for Marcus and Dave. Marcus. Oh, how nice. <laughs> Wayne Jones, too. And I wonder what they've got lined up today. A puppy kicking contest? <laughs> Are you going to play or something? No, no. Yeah, of course he will. Look, why don't you do the one you wrote for Kelly? It's good. Don't listen to him. Look, he wrote it just for you. All you have to do is give him some encouragement and he'll sing. Oh, get out, will you? <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. What's this, then? Hey. Crazy drivers, these black guys. Ah. Uh, round hey. you go. <laughs> hey, <I'll... laughs> Hey, big stuff, man. Hey, big stuff, man. Hey, look, I'm expensive stuff. Take it easy. Look, cut it out. Wayne, what's your problem, man? Cut it out. Cut it out. What's your problem? Here we go, Jules! So this is yours. Wait. Didn't steal it, did you? Wayne, Wayne. Give it back. Son. Give it here. You know what they say? Like father, like son. You! Buddy! Oh! Do it! Ah! you got, Kelly? Why don't you go and join him, eh? Shit, look at my hand. It's been all old songs so far, but here's one I wrote for you. Don't laugh. It might be a bit scrappy because I've hurt my hand. The road's dark and empty. I'm walking alone. I'm trying to reach you because I let you down. Each time that I hurt you, something good in me dies. No use in pretending, cause truth's in my eyes. I've been crying all night and calling your name. Not making excuses. Well, you know how I'm feeling, you're feeling the same. Not making excuses, I'm taking the blame. Not making excuses, I'm taking the blame. That's the one. Sings the Buddy Holly stuff good, though, huh? Yeah. But well, that's the one, Terry. Put it on again. What's me here? What about this one, then? <laughs> God! Yeah, that tape was fantastic. You like it? All those old songs, see? Brings the best out of you. Here, where's Harry? Here, Harry! It's my boy. Hello, son. All right? Singer, eh? The thing. <laughs> Terrific. I'm sorry, love. How are you? Yeah, how's your hand? What are you doing? It's all right now. It's all right, right, is it? <laughs> Take care of them, you know. <laughs> Do any damage to them, it'll be the end of the guitar playing. <laughs> have to get me short. <laughs> Stop it, daft. I'm not being daft. You heard the tape. He's going to be a star. Oh, don't put stupid ideas like that into his head. He's got to concentrate on his schoolwork. <laughs> Boring, that is cool. Well, how would you know? You never did any. <laughs> no, I suppose not. Yeah. I heard some news the other day. What? Well, if I'm a good boy, don't murder the governor. They're gonna let me out in two weeks. <laughs> two more weeks of this stink and I'll be breathing fresh air! Oh. 
Hello, son. <laughs> Here's Jess. Hold that, buddy. Come on, Terry. Carol. Terry, no, come on. on Terry. Hello, Jess. All right. Yeah. Come on. come on, get him. He's going to give us a lift. We've got some surprises for you. <laughs> oh, Carol. Come on, hurry up. Oh. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Hey, up, start the celebrations. Welcome back to the wicked world. Says. But it's not my home. Of course it is. Your place isn't big enough for the three of us. It's about time we live together again. What do you think? Yeah. And here you are, folks. I've had the old place done up from top to bottom. <laughs> Come and have a look. Terrific days. There. Home, sweet home. And for starters, Cool, oh, I've had all your buddy Ollie stuff framed. <laughs> oh, I've missed him. More later. The bathroom. Nice colour. Hey. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See? I thought of everything. <laughs> Just in case he's forgotten how to do it, Carol. <laughs> Come on, tell. <laughs> Not a pretty sight. <laughs> Don't know what to say, this. Listen, this is nothing. Thank you. I'll thank you enough for what you've done for me. You want anything ever? Right? Let us know. So. Okay, tell me straight. What would you have done? I'd have taken it. Honest. Honest. Good. <laughs> Maybe a cup of tea, will you? What do you think then? Home sweet home. A home is what you make yourself. And this is Des King. We'll change it then. Colours you want. Furniture. Anything you want. That's King's money, can't you see? Am I supposed to burn it? Carol. Now listen. I'm gonna say this once, and that's an end of it. I'm keeping that money. Des owes me a favour. It's his way of saying thank you. But it doesn't mean anything. I'm never going back to prison. I just want the three of us to be happy. To be together. For Buddy. He, he needs it. At least let's let's show him that we that we tried, eh? Yeah. Do you remember this? <laughs> oh. First time we danced. Things have changed, though, Terry. No, nothing's changed. Nothing. Well, a bit, maybe. You haven't changed. You, you look better than ever. You fancy a dance, don't you? Sometimes we'll cry And we'll know why Just you and I Know true love way Come on, hurry up! This money's burning hole in me pocket! Oh, you're not going dressed like that, are you? 
You want me to wear prison denims? Sorry. I have to buy you an electric guitar. Can't be in a group without a guitar. I haven't got a group. Oh, we shouldn't fix that, will we? Think positive. I mean, Buddy Holly at your age, he was playing dances. Yeah, I'm not Buddy Holly, am I? No, but one day you could be famous. I think I could be the manager. <laughs> Now, this is the one. Yeah, this is the one, Bunny. <laughs> Listen to this. Dad. Oh, you don't like them horrible things, do you? I do. They're brilliant. Look. It's a bloody machine. <laughs> Listen to that. They want that sort of music. It's not for you, is it? Bunny, they all play guitars. Elvis, Chuck Berry, Bunny Ollie. What about Jerry Lee Lewis and Little Richard? Yeah, that was pianos, wasn't it? Not machines. This is a piano, Dad. And lots of other things. It's really modern, isn't it? It's really good. Give me the good old days. You can have them. <sighs> it's horrible. <sighs> All right, then. Yes! Right, you want it. Yes! Well, I'm going to get you this as well for when you stop being stupid. You can't get them both. Of course I can. Right, then, how much are you going to knock off? We'll take that, the keyboards and the amplifier. I'm afraid we don't do discounts, sir. <laughs> Unless, of course, we're dealing with cash, in which case I think we could manage about 5%. 10. 7 and a half. 12 and a half. <laughs> no, I'm very sorry. 10 it is. Come on, buddy, let's go and buy that video camera. 12 and a half. Should have a video. Yeah, that's an idea, isn't it? I'll put an ad in the paper. Brilliant. <laughs> Smile. Oh, beautiful baby, wanna show you where I kid. Oh, 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 Right, folks, this is a moment you've all been waiting for. It. It's, it's oh, Queen Carol with a new jewel. Stop it, please! Yeah, stop it! Flash of figures! <laughs> it was a risk taking the one before, but um, after this last lot. Come on, Ed. You know the truth about that. Terry, personally, I would trust you with my life. But you know this game. Even a breath of something dodgy and. Everyone's jumping to nasty conclusions. It's for you, Ed. Hello? Hello, Sammy. Yes, of course I can. If I hear of anything, Terry. Yeah. You can see their point. A hell of a lot of money goes through that till every day. Yeah. I'd probably drink all their coke and eat all their chocolates, too. Job I need. Training. You've got to have training nowadays. Why do you think Adrian Mandel wants me to do this? There'll always be room for specialists. He says it all the time. Yeah, I bet he does. Anyway, what's so clever about that? It's only a fancy typewriter. Ha! Huh, so you're a computer expert now, are you? You show me then. I'd put a boot through the screen if it was up to me. Bloody machines. I mean, I've got your machine flashing all day down here, and I've got his machine going blah, blah, blah all night up there. You both look stupid when there's a power cut, won't you? Well, what's this crap, then? It's Mozart, and it's not crap. Sounds like somebody's died. Come on, let's have something more cheerful. No, please, leave it, Terry. He can't concentrate with your rock music blaring out all the time. Well, he can go upstairs, then, can't he? Yeah, I'm going upstairs. Stay where you are. He's not going upstairs. Why should he? Besides, I'm working down here, and I'm... It's got a bloody him. office in here. I've told you, things have changed. I'll say that again. Too many damn things have changed, if you ask me. Well, you know what you can do if you don't like it. 
This is my house, you know. It's not your house. We live here too. It's my bloody name on the rent book. And it's my man who pays the rent. And I'm working and I won't quiet leave it. He's not having his way all the time. Thinking big and walking tall. Thinking big. Thinking big. Hello? Sorry? Oh, yeah, yeah. Hang on a minute. Mum, where's Dad? He's probably sulking in his shed as usual. Why? Somebody wants him to video a wedding. Oh. It's all the gear. Yeah, got it all. Put it in the bag. You're not getting dressed like that, are you? I mean, it's somebody's wedding. That makes the whole thing special, doesn't it? I mean, people are daft like that. Wear something different, and they think you're interesting. Mm. <laughs> They'll love it, you'll see. Mm. See you later. Can't you do anything without Des King getting involved? Come on, Carol. What do you want us to do, walk? Look, you can knock him all you want. If he sticks by me. In fact, he offered me a job today, working in the yard. And I've taken it. Of course, it's not a big, important job like yours. But it's a job, and it's honest. And if you don't like it, <laughs> tough! You see, our service is different. I mean, all the others, <laughs> They just give you the boring stuff at the church. We're gonna give you the works. No, no, no. I told you to salute. Now get back in, and we'll do it again. And this time, get it right. Go! And that time, too. Now then, let's get off the line. Uh, excuse me, I'm the official photographer, and it was arranged that I took the photographs. Oh. Huh. Can I have a word in your ear? Now, listen, Mush. I don't want to get hard with you or anything, but this is TV, right? And TV comes first. So you can take your crummy snaps when we are finished, OK? Good. Here we go. Now, this is the movies, right? So I want to see you all move. OK. Now. Come on, Mum. You come here. I want to make a guard of honour. Come, come on, there. What's the matter with you? Pull the line. That's it, love. Here, friend. Come on. Go oh, there. OK. Now, you've all got your instructions. Right. On the count of three, I want you all to wave your ankies. I want the bride and groom to come down the aisle. And anyone not moving will have to do a strip at the reception. Go! Fantastic. OK, you lot. You can take a break now. Well, I'll do Brenda and Dennis. Yeah, don't say anything to your mother, but I think we might be on to a winner. <laughs> As you getting paid for doing something you like. I was thinking, maybe next time we could do an all-in deal. You know, video the wedding and a band for the reception. Yeah. Oh, I know some fellas do gigs like that, and they just lost their singer. You're kidding? Yeah. Could be a start, eh? Yeah. Right, let's do these two. I wonder if the poor son knows what he's letting himself in for. <laughs> Right, where's the happy couple? You ready for some rock and roll, then? Yeah. Are we going to the van? Don't be silly. It's only over here. Why here? Perfect, isn't it? 
Make as much noise as you like. <laughs> play with them. Stop moaning. Can't let me down now. I've booked a gig for next week. Come on, it'll be a good experience. Terry, nice place. Great acoustics. Yeah, I thought you'd like it. It's got that kind of a Gene Vincent echo. <laughs> oh, yeah? Oh, uh, it's my boy, Buddy. Buddy, come and meet Paul. Hello, son. Hi. You sing a bit, do you? Yeah, yeah. Well, I hope so, because those things had to pack it in. He's got wife trouble. Oh, oh grab yourself a beer, Terry. Oh, cheers. OK, if you'd like to plug your admin over okay. there. Mike's already set up for you. Right. I sit on the drums there. Hello, mate. Fill in the bass. Hi. Oh, new guitar. There you go, son. OK, give us a top E. Yeah, that's OK, it's fine. Yeah? Right. Your dad tells me you're a bit of a rocker, then. Yeah. <laughs> you know Sam Mama? Yeah. In E. After me. Sam Mama, can I go out tonight? Sam Mama, will it be all right? They got a... Don't you look that way Say, Mama, got the guy to say Well, Mama, well, I don't be mad You're gonna say, hey, hey, well, ask your dad Whoa, 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 Mama, don't you look that way Cause I know just what you're gonna say Well, Mama, well, don't be mad You're gonna say, hey, well, ask your dad Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I go out tonight? Say, Mama, will it be all right? They got a rocket party going down the street. Say, Mama, can't you hear that? Whoa, 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 some good news. Karen and her husband, Norman, where is he? Norman not with us this evening? Are going to expect uh, the little pitter-patter of tiny keyboards in the springtime, so congratulations. What happened to you then? Um, the van the broke down on the motorway. I couldn't get to a phone. But he said you'd come on without me. Well, I had to get a taxi, didn't I? Well, you promised you wouldn't wear and that. It's your and your qualifications. Well, they're all wearing suits. <laughs> you better come in. Well, that's enough of me. That is until next year. There's mistletoe over every single door in the office, so a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Adrian, this is Terry, my husband. Terry, this is Adrian. Oh, how do you do? I've been um, looking forward to uh, meeting you. Oh, yeah? Why's that? <laughs> Carol's told me so much about you. So you're the one who keeps her out working late, are you? That's the price of having a talented wife. Good, is she? She's the best assistant I've ever had. That's why we want her to go on this um, computer programming course. You'll have to pay her a lot more money, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely the best thing about Guy's new company is they get tickets for everything, including Wimbledon and Glyndebourne. Really? Two of Anthea's great passions, tennis and opera, in that order. What about you, Terry? What line are you into? I'm into cars. Oh, really? Which end? Marketing or manufacturing? 
Breaking. Sorry? Breaking. I reckon. Smash them up. <laughs> I love it. Really? My wife are coming home now. They're going home. Last of it. Oh! Carol, let me do that. Oh. Let me. Leave me alone! Come on, Carol, let me do that. Oh. <gasps> Can't you get it through your thick head? I don't need you! Do you mean that, Carol? Do you mean that? Because <sighs> if you don't leave me, I'm going. Suit yourself. Do Mum. Oh, go to bed, buddy. I don't want to talk about it, all right? Guess King says I can stay here as long as I like. So you're not coming back, then? You heard what she said. She doesn't need me anymore. So you're staying here? Shall I tell her where you are, then? It's up to you. I better go. Buddy. You'll come and see me sometimes, won't you? Yeah. You've still got the music. Yeah, of course we have. Here. I'm lining up this gig. This pub where all the Teds go. It's gonna be great. Yeah. This better be worth it, Jules. Trust me, they're a great band. You'll be perfect together. Hang on a minute. You should have got your dad to give us a lift. You must be kidding. If you know I was playing with another band, he'd kill me. How about carrying this for a bit, Jules? Nah, it's okay. I can manage. You're joking. What's this? Drummer's a milkman. To the G, the verse. G, A. And again. G. G again, now to the A. And again. To B minor bit now. I run just like a cheetah, he might I burn just like the sun. I'm cool just like an iceberg, hey, I'm monkey just for fun. And a key change up, I'm young. Cause nothing's gonna stop me, I'm young. What did I do wrong? Well, I'm young. Nothing's gonna stop me, nothing's gonna stop me, nothing's gonna stop me now. And again, I'm young. Nothing's gonna stop me. Well, yeah, you're right. Good band, good drummer. Picked up the song fast, didn't they? What did I tell you? It's it. Everything's there. The yeah. sound, the look, everything. They need a songwriter too. Yeah. Look, we're gonna have to play this cool. Now look at me. Yeah. I'm gonna do all the talking. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Ready to talk. Mm. Yeah, well, we were supposed to see some other people, but it was a good song, and we want you to join the band. I'd love to. OK, great. But we got a couple of small conditions. Yeah, like what conditions? First, I become manager of the band. 
you know, book your gigs, stuff like that. And I also help out as roadie. Yeah, all right. What was the other one? I get to play tambourine. Oh, have a word, Jules. When appropriate. And as you can see, my client is most adamant about this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Is that it? Well, sounds good to me. Right. The Hurt, meet your new lead singer and your new tambourine player. <laughs> Lovely. All right. <laughs> You know, you're cutting your nose off to spite your face. You could be having a really nice meal with us. I mean, it might be a chance to get to know Adrian better. I don't want to get to know him. You're married, remember? No, I'm not. I'm split up. I'm free. And so's he. <laughs> Some prestige gig this is, eh? Anyway, where the hell's Terry? So you're the manager, then? Yeah. The singer, Buddy, is my son. Your son? I named him after Buddy Holly. Terry! Buddy Holly? Oh, all right. Back in a minute. <laughs> Look after that. Right. Built up, you lot. It's time for some live rock and roll. Let's have a big hand for Buddy and the High Tones. Yeah. Come on, my son. Thank you. Yeah. Turn it off. Turn it off. Hey, Granddad, that's my money in there. Get money back then. I don't want your money. I haven't had a rumble like that for years. <laughs> hey, what about our stuff? That's OK. Dawn and me will pick it up in the morning. Oh, by the way, this is Dawn. Hello. <laughs> Blimey, you're late. Get up, it's nearly 11 o'clock. Tell me about the gig last night, eh? What do you mean? <laughs> I thought it was great. Hello? Buddy, Dawn's gonna make us some breakfast. Bacon and eggs. Fancy some? Yeah, do you want some, son? Buddy! Tell her I'm not her son. Buddy! 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 Buddy. Don't be angry. Why should I be angry? After all, Mum's got Adrian Mandel, hasn't she? No, you don't like that, do you? Yeah, she's knocking him off every night. Shut your mouth. Now you picked up this tart. Ah! You don't care. Stop it. Get, Get off me. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You're behaving like a baby. Look, look, I can't stop living, can I? I'm trying to see it from my point of view. It's just what she says. What about my point of view, Dad? Buddy. You were the ones who got married. Tearing me in half, Dad. Oh, and something else. You can forget that bloody band of yours. I've got my own group now. My own group. You don't need me. I don't need you. Where the love 
You can have my body, and you can have just whatever you want, these. No, no, except his brain. He gave that away years ago. <laughs> we thought you was brilliant, didn't we? Yeah. Thanks a lot. What's your name, darling? Spencer. Now, that's a big S, and then a little A, and then a little M, and then... Thank you. Eat your heart out, guys. Just because I'm the sex symbol of this band. Oh, I don't fancy him. Do you fancy him? I don't fancy him. <laughs> Handed in his notice. Got a big job in London. Oh, dear. He wants us to go with him. <laughs> he had a rough night, didn't he? <laughs> nice. You got a good eye. What do you charge for these, then? £25 a piece. Wasting your talent, you know. <laughs> Look who's talking. With mean, everything you know about video, all we could do is bootleg films. <laughs> if I can get a bit of cash together, I'm gonna fit this place out as a proper studio. Make commercials and promos and that sort of thing. And I'll be looking for people like you. Come on, you're putting me on. Nah. <laughs> yeah, you're blushing. I mean it. You're good. Where that kid of yours gets it from? He's making waves with that band of his. Who you know? I've seen the local paper there. What's this? <laughs> the little sod. He's doing it. <laughs>
right, where's me towel? Where's me towel? That's I put it there, right. it's been lit. Where's me towel? Who's got the Guitar Heroes towel? <laughs> Fan mail. Lovely. I saw that. The Swiss 16 and ready for anything. Wobble! <laughs> Whoa, wobble! wobble. Stop shush, it. Shush, shush, shush. We don't wobble. Dear buddy. I think you're fabulous. Oh, I'm gonna come to no. all your gigs. Oh, My yeah. friend said you wouldn't ask me out, but I hope you will. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, lads. I love you, lads. <laughs> Nobody's gonna save himself from Miss Wright. <laughs> Great drummer. What a group. You're all fantastic. You two, buddy. <laughs> Never heard him sing so good. It's my dad. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Terry's the name. And I'm telling you. I haven't heard anything that good since I saw Buddy Holly in 58. Jeez. You were fantastic! You could go all the way to the top. <laughs> but you need someone to get you there. A manager. No, we've, someone to we've already got toys. a manager, Dad. Yeah, I've arranged lots of gigs. <laughs> Julius. Yeah. Oh, Julius, look. I'm sure you've done your best, but, you know, I'm talking professional gigs. What, weddings and teddy boy pubs? Just been on the phone. I can get you a booking next Friday at the Manhattan Club. Oh, yeah, I have. I've got contacts. That's what you need. I'll book your recording sessions, tours, the lot. Look, I know you don't know me from Adam, but you want success, right? Well, you don't want it half as bad as I do. You want it. I need it. That's why you need me. Because I'll work for you like no one else will. If I haven't got you a recording deal in six months, you can dump me. Sounds good. What? Look, Julius. 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 Be serious. No record company's gonna do a deal with someone of your age, are they? Not a proper deal. I need someone to help me. Someone who knows the music, knows what he's talking about. Come on. All right. <laughs> come on, buddy, come on. You and me. All right. Yes. <laughs> I'm on our way. <laughs> Buddy. Buddy? I know you don't want to talk about this London thing, but we've got to talk about it. Oh, Buddy, please stop playing that damn thing and talk to me, please. Ooh. God, you like your father. He would never talk things out. He even had to put a record on to say, I love you, or I'm sorry. But you don't do that. You just put it in a song. You want me to talk? You want to live with that bloody Adrian Mandel creep? You want me to say yes, just so you can feel OK about it? I thought you understood things. Oh, dear. Buddy, I've been with your father since I was 17. And I'm caught up with him, whether I like it or not. But even you can see, can't you, that we can't live together. I love you. But how long is it going to be before you're off living your own life, eh? Then there's Adrian. No, he doesn't mean as much to me as you and Dad. But he's been good to me. And he's helped me. He's been good for me. And he wants me as I am. Now, if I go with Adrian, I lose you and your dad. But if I stay here, I end up on my own. Torn in half. You don't know what it means.
way. Follow us in, but don't let him see you. There you go, lads. Welcome to the big time. Thanks, <laughs> <laughs> we're ready, lads. They came to see the TV comic. Don't give yourself excuses. You lot were lousy tonight. The bloody sound system didn't help, did it? We were better off with Julius. At least we had an audience. Right. OK. You lot want to play crappy little gigs for the rest of your life, then you go ahead. I'll cancel the studio dates. Okay, what, what, what studio dates? I booked a studio. Record some songs. Oh, yeah? Who owns it? Jess King? No, he doesn't. Anyway, if you're not interested, of course we're interested. Well, then, get your act together. Learn some different songs. I mean, all that doomy crap, like brain train. What's wrong with that? Why don't you play some oldies? Oh, no, you don't. We pick the songs, all right? They might not mean anything to you, but they mean a lot to us and the people we sing them to. We'll learn to sing them better. Look at the state of you. Put your trousers on. Who the hell are you? Elaine. Buddy said it's all right. That's right. Oh, did he? In the back with the gear. Rubbish. Glad you were there, though. Really? Yeah, really. Never guessed that it could happen. It came like a boat out of the blue. Let's go back to your place. We can't. Speak. 
Cause I love you too much Ordinary girl It's an ordinary world we live in But you make it special every day I'll have you a minute there. Hello, Tell. See you back in the firm, then. I just work in the yard, John. Where did we find that Des King then, Terry? He's up in the office. Yeah, just want a little word with him, that's all. Pretty lucky. Yeah. Thank you, son. So then we go from there. To here. To there. And then home. Whew. That's 14 gigs in 14 days. That's a killer. Yeah. And it's gonna have to go like clockwork, too. Listen, would you mind if I brought Dawn with me? Mm. You would, wouldn't you? Why? I don't know. She's a good kid, really. She likes you a lot. Why? <laughs> OK. I'll tell her there's not enough room in the truck. <laughs> Do you love her, then? I like her a lot. She makes me laugh. And I need a laugh sometimes, living in a place like this. <laughs> Good looking, too, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> I love her. Is your mum still seeing that bloke? What's his name? Adrian. I don't know. We don't talk about it. Well, you better get yourself to bed. Got a big day tomorrow. Well, you should have everything. Yeah. I hope the tour goes well. Yeah, I bet you do. Oh, Bobby, when are you going to realise I'm not your enemy? I'm not, you know. Come say hello. Hello, Terry. Hi. How's it going? Great, yeah. Good. Hey, you've got a new partner for your video. Donald, yeah. Thinking of getting a studio. Branching out. Still on the computers? Oh, yeah. Still programming away. Good. Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, better be going. Gulping at. We don't get on. So don't start. Right there, mate. Feel what I want? What the hell's that? Oh, yeah. I changed the name. You're joking. No, I never liked the other one. I mean, the hurt. It's depressing. This one makes you sound tougher. I swear I didn't know anything about this, guys. You've got a nerve. Of course I have. Managers are four. <laughs> OK. We're the, the wild ones. Been a boy scout and a quiet boy. A girl from a statistic, a player in the game. I've been a piggy in the middle, a face out in a crowd. All of that to someone else. Now I'm saying it out loud. For the first time, not the last time. This is me, it's really me. Take it off the mask right now. Step it up and take it.
Don't know. It's not much, and honestly, we just didn't have time. Never get a minute to do anything. I missed you, though. Your parents in? No. Great. We've got two weeks to catch up on. But we can't. Come on. Missed you. Buddy, you've got to go. Why? Elaine, come on, baby. What's happened to him? I want to kill him, not playing a band with him. You can't split the band up because of a little thing like that. A little thing? Well, in Glenn's case, very little since he's had the transplant. It's not funny, Wobble! Trust me, I'm your friend. Oh, God. Look, why don't you just pour it into a song? I mean, uh, that's what all the great songwriters do. Look, I'm your mate. All right, I know about these things. You don't know shit, mate. Where is he, anyway? Where is he? You gotta give me your word. You won't break up the band. I won't break up the band. Right, he's in there. I'm gonna kill you. Come out here, you bastard! I'm gonna kill you. Kill you. you don't have to kill me. I'll do it myself. It's not funny, Glenn. I'm not laughing. You bastard! Well, I thought you rotten bastard. I hate myself. I'll kick you, you know. Yeah, kick me, beat me, spit on me. I bloody will! Yeah, you probably like it, kinky git. Shut up, Wobble! I'm sorry. I didn't know she meant that much to you. You're sorry. Anyway, you can have her back. I don't want her back now, do I? Oh, come on. Let's rehearse. Let's get, get it together. Off, Look, get off the man. not playing. Just get off. For God's sake! I've made my mind up. I'm not going to London. I've just told Adrian. Because of me? Because mm, of everything, really. I don't love him, you see. Not really, love. Hey, it wouldn't be fair on anybody. It's right like this. You want a good video, you have to suffer. There's a single shot on you, buddy. And um, then you can get your drums up there while we're doing this. Terry, before you start. Not now, Dawn. I'm busy. Terry, I want to talk to you. Not now. I'm busy. Right. You sure this is safe, Wobble? Right, don't rock around too much, buddy. You'll go through the roof. OK, Julius. Music.
I'll give you a ring when I've done the dubbing and the cutting then, all right? Yeah, good close-ups, loads of movement. <laughs> you done well, you lot. Good night, Chad. Oh, yeah. Good day, eh? Great day. <laughs> oh, that's going to be a hit, you know? Yeah? Yeah, I think it's terrific. Wait a minute. Hello? <laughs> Look at this. Get stuffed. <laughs> Got a temper, that one, isn't she? Ah! 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 Stay there! Ah! There's... Ah! Get off him! He's got a knife! Get out! Mum. Oh, buddy, I'm in a meeting. It's very important. Can you ring back? It's Dad. He's in hospital. But if you're too damn busy... always the one. Whatever happens. I don't know. I've tried. My God, I've tried. He says I've changed. I have. You see, he's still the same, but I'm not. That's all. Mrs. Clark, it's going to be all right. We had to operate to repair a wound to the intestine, but he'll be fine. Come see him. Well, he's still under the anaesthetic at the moment, but, um, or perhaps sister wouldn't mind if you went up to the ward with him. Okay, you lot, you want to hit record? You're going to have to work. This lot here will have to be taken around to all the record companies and radio stations. Not to mention taking them around to local shops. But don't worry, I've got some help. Kelly! Guess who? Couldn't be anybody else, could it? Mm. No, Des. You are amazing, Terry, or completely stupid. The guy ruins your life. You get nearly half killed for him, and it's good old Des. No. He never messed up my life. He's my mate. That's all that matters. Buddy. Yeah? The record. I've got to get the record in that store. Yeah. The one the newspapers uses to do the top ten. Yeah, it's all taken care of, don't worry. I get to keep the records? Yeah. And the change? What? Yeah. This is gonna cost us a fortune. All right. Yeah, nothing serious by the wild ones. Yeah. Yeah, there's, so yeah, there's someone else here who'd like to vote too. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, hello? Yeah, c can I vote too, please, in the outline? Yeah, Did you get them to play it after six? A dedication. Uh, yeah, from Kelly to someone special. Look, this one's mine. Excuse me, man. You going in there? Yeah. Do us a favor. Take this and buy a copy of Nothing Serious. You also get to keep the record. It's a great track. 
I already get all the records I want. I'm the manager of this shop. Hospitals. Oh, Sam. Oh, oh my word. Sorry. Oh, ten days was enough for me, wasn't it? Oh, do this, drink that, go to sleep. Oh, I was going nuts. Anyway, I had a call from a bloke called Bobby Rosen, head of Mammoth Records. Now, I couldn't lie in bed and say no to him, could I? So I checked myself out and went to see him this morning. And? <laughs> he likes the record. He loves the video and wants to do a showcase with him. <laughs> Who promised you the best today? <laughs> now, get rehearsing. I can't do this. Look at my hands. Same as that, mate. Just relax. You'll do great. Let me do all the talking. <laughs> Your new superstars, darling. Hey, Bobby, you old crook. <laughs> How are you doing? Come and meet the boys. Hi. Hi. This is Ray Baldy, chief producer at Mammoth. Hello, Ray. <laughs> We're both very impressed with your record. Don't listen to him. Just trying to get you cheap. <laughs> We're using Studio B, so if you'd like to come along, get set up. Some of our past successes. Yeah, Bobby, aren't you the one who turned down the Beatles? Only joking, Bobby, only joking. We lost track of all the hours Drinking white hair. And there was so much to laugh at Cos we had so much to say Walking have to make this a single, you know. The city. Number one. We were sheltering from that shower rain The moon and the stars on the river I seem to dance into my brain Took you to wake me Took you to make me You make me feel You make me feel so alive Took you to shake me But you felt Look at the mess you're in Now I've made up my own mind oh. I started thinking for myself What you told me Is going back, back on the shelf But well, I'm a man and not a boy. Oh, but well, I'm a man and not a boy. But well, I'm a man, not a boy now. A man. Maybe that one's a single. That was great, lads. Why don't you do a few oldies just to show them? Uh, thank you. And uh, that's fine. Just relax for a bit. <laughs> Eric, why don't you take, um, uh, Teddy and let him have a listen to the headphones? I saw what I've heard it. And it's Terry. No, really. You'll enjoy it. It's digital. You'd be amazed at how it all sounds. Oh, all right. Well, I'll be very brief. We're prepared to take an option on you. Yes! 
That means we'll sign you for a year to write new material, spend time in the studios improving your sounds. Eric, that damn console in C is broken down again. Can you come? Yeah, I can. Hey, it said converse or something. We'll see whether you've come up with the goods or not. Take it from there. But there are a couple of things before we sign. First of all, you'll have to change the name of the band. <laughs> that's all right. It's nothing to do with us. That's our manager. No, no problem. problem. Well, that brings me to the second point. We'd like to arrange proper professional management. Your present manager just doesn't got the... Um, Experience that we think a promising group like you would deserve. He just holds you back. I mean, that, that, that name is a perfect example. We can't drop Terry. No. Nah. The fact that we found out that he has a criminal record isn't exactly a recommendation to us. As I say, we want you. But it'll have to be without him. It's really in your best interest. Buddy, I really don't know what to say. It's up to you, mate. Yeah. Yeah. Terry's his dad. Buddy! <laughs> Ends, does it? Not exactly a recommendation. Dad, we'll find another record company. No. Well, what about you? You know me. I'll be okay. Dad, I can't do this. I'll start again. Find a new group. Be silly. But I made a vow, Dad. When you're in prison, I promised, I promised myself that I'd, I'd never make you unhappy again. Never. You and me against the world, eh? Yeah. Buddy, you couldn't let me down or make me unhappy if you tried. Go back inside. That's an order. Do good. What are you doing? Stupid buggers, I what could have else? killed a lot of you. Nah, get off. Where are you going? For your stuff. Go back inside with them. I've decided to concentrate on the videos with Donna. Terry, we can't just walk Look, out of this thing. Like made up my mind. Sooner or later, I was going to have to choose, right? You or the videos, and the videos would have won. So go back and sign with it. But we're under contract to you. Tear them up! Where's your killer instinct? Look, Terry, when you took over managing the band from me, if I'd have had them under some sort of contract, I'd have screwed some money out of you for compensation. <laughs> genius, you're a financial genius. <laughs> Folks, Bobby Rosen has just decided to contribute some money to a new video studio. Yeah. Come on, you lot. Let's get this over with before we all freeze to death. Yeah. You've got to do a speech, Teddy. It's too cold. Yeah, yeah, it's come, on. Oh. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come right. on. Donald and me, we've put an awful lot of hard work into this project, but we could never have done it without a fantastic amount of help from my best friend, Des King. <laughs> Who's looking very straight tonight. We have a lot of management, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and we mustn't forget Mammoth Records, who uh, suddenly had a charitable fit 
and donated a rather large sum to this wonderful call. <laughs> Let's hope Bobby Rosen's arm gets better very quickly. <laughs> anyway, you can do this, Donald. I now declare the studio open! Not bad. <laughs> Even it was Carol's idea. Yeah. No peace for the wicked, Tell. OK, you lot. Come on, back in the wall now. Good, huh? I'm so pleased for you, Terry. Thanks. I want to take you both out for a meal next week. Well, come on, it's my birthday. Buddy. Oh no strings, I promise. Just friends, eh? You are friends, aren't you? Oh, yes. The best. <laughs> yes. Right then, next Tuesday, and I'm paying. <laughs> oh, money bags. <laughs> Nothing posh, though. Don't want to have to dress up. <laughs> no, no, we'll go to the pizza place or something. What's the trouble with you two? You've got no style, no class. What about that new Italian restaurant? No. I won't even be able to read the menu. Stop putting yourself down. For me? Yes. You. All right, then. Tuesday it is. Got any style? If I'm feeling sorry for yourself, you got a lifetime in front of you. Don't need no help. You just display a little bit of love. Let me tell you, you're gonna make it, but it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. Yeah, it's gonna be. Hey, hey, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be. Play it. 